Hello, everyone, and welcome to Halo Reach Part 6. I'm Cody. I'm Andrew. My god, I'm Tanner. Good job on the delay there, Andrew. <laughs> I thought you were going to go. No, it's always... I'm always last. Because he didn't play the game. Okay, I didn't know that rule. Anyway... I'm not supposed, I'm supposed to be telepathic and read my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Gosh, Andrew, I thought we were... Professional over here. Professional went out the window when we first when we did our first video. Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the night level Shit. of the Halo game. And this is a sniper recon mission. I can tell because that man is a sniper and you are on the side of a cliff and it is nighttime. Yeah. I kinda like you how know. we did like the camera angle here where it's like as if the cameraman was walking behind the Spartan and looking down. That's, yeah. that's actually how they uh did it. Awesome. Oh really? Awesome. Because I remember reading some uh watching something on YouTube like behind the cinemat cinem cinematic makings of the game and they said to do that shot they literally just um basically had a, a player-controlled camera right behind the Spartan, and they followed him. That's pretty oh. awesome. So to give it that effect of, like, some year walking along the cliff. <laughs> That's pretty... That's but, uh, awesome, dude. Yeah, so this would be a sniper recon mission, but we have Thomas on our team. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That makes sense. I'll let that happen. I think I know, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> Too oh, quiet? Right. Not for long. He's gonna Leroy Jenkins this, isn't he? He's literally gonna be screaming Leroy Jenkins, isn't he? Uh, if only we could hear him. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, I stay in the back so I can capture everything as much as I can. Yes. And me, being the most stealthiest of all, go out there with my fire helmet. <laughs> Bright and... fire helmet. Oh, no, it's Andrew who started the <laughs> not so stealth aspect of the game. Oh, thanks, Andrew. We were on normal, dude. It doesn't matter. We could have shown off how you can get through the area, stealth like. <laughs> I don't do stealth. We need stealth so like. we can uh, uh, shoot people in the head and have cheering. <laughs> That'd be the weirdest thing to, uh, you know, just be out in the middle of the night and then just look over your friend, his head explode in the confetti, and just hear yay! And the next thing you know, you get stabbed in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like holy shit! What is going on here? Party, confetti, everywhere! Yippee! <laughs> it's blood! It's made of confetti! <laughs> uh, now, as easy as we make this level seem on normal, you know, co-op, this was, like, the first real brick wall for me when I did Solo Legendary. What just happened to... Oh, the that, like, the, uh, they breathe in methane, right? The grunts? Yeah. Yeah, his methane tank, like, leaked, and it pretty much, like, makes him spiral out of control and eventually explode. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Be, uh, be careful, though, because that explosion can kill can you if you're close enough and of low health. Oh, really? Him. That's crazy. Yeah, there's been a lot of fail videos um, with behind that methane explosion. <laughs> You know, what I wish that they would have done is if you can shoot if you can shoot off the methane tank off the grunt, I feel like that they should die because they're no longer getting their methane supply. Well yeah, they do die. No, like if you just there's I don't know, if you're good good enough to the aiming with the sniper or the pistol, you can shoot off their tank, but they'll be just fine. What the heck? That's really? weird. Oh. I don't know. I thought I think I think generally it's programs where like you're gonna hit their head or something like that. It's they're gonna die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think if you hit it just right, you can get the tank off and they live. That's weird. Well, they. That's really weird. Well, it's as if like a human have like an astronaut on the moon. If you shoot off their or if they lose their air supply, they still have about say three to four minutes before they suffocate to death. Not you know? they're in space, silly. They they would literally explode from the. Or like lack of of outside okay. pressure. Yeah, oh. exactly. Lack of pressure. Yeah, I remember having that discussion actually with a teacher at Monta Vista because oh, we, yeah? saw, we saw. I think it was with. Uh, no, I'm not gonna actually. No, I'm not gonna drop names. It was with um, a certain English slash psychology teacher of our, at Monta Vista. <laughs> okay, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, and um, 
we, he, I don't know why, but we a picture was shown of us of an astronaut's leg of what happened when his suit lost pressure. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the leg was just, you know, it was blown. It wasn't like blown up like gross, but it was just like large because yeah, of high pressure. Oh, and he didn't yeah. understand how it happened. And I said, well, because your body also has an internal pressure. So if you don't have oh. outside pressure pushing it in, it will actually expand. Expand, yeah. Okay. And then I was like, sense. huh, I never thought of that. And I'm like, that's so crazy. I learned you good. <laughs> <laughs> I learned you good. And, that, uh, and the uh, English side of him just, you know, probably churned and wanted to murder me. Yeah. Well, then I guess, I guess it wasn't a good idea to start applying physics to a science fiction game. Ah, uh, yes, of course. But oh well. Everything based in some sort of physics. Mm -hmm. Maybe just not Earth's physics. Or I, should I say this physics. easy this universe's physics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Although I do love how like as soon as you kill an enemy they instantly become a ragdoll and their the way they fall to the ground is hilarious. And we've got an AFK <laughs> Thomas I don't remember why he left. He like he had to do something or he just chilling. I back like how oh, right after Thomas is the one that's gone, the missing is let sleeping dogs die. Yeah, we're just gonna leave you, Thomas. Leave you to die. Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. It's very fitting. Uh, yeah. that, was, that was a. Uh, when yeah. I first saw these like big That's creatures, I freaked oh, out. I was like, "Oh my god, what is this?" Kind of reminds me of uh, Death Claw, or I think they're called Death Claws from um, Fallout. Oh, Fallout, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't play Fallout. Crazy looking. Well, neither did I. I just know what they're called because they're yeah. kind of synonymous. It says like the hardest enemies in the game or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are. Well, depends on your difficulty. Ah. If you're playing New Vegas, it doesn't matter. They'll be hard. <laughs> well, Fallout, a game we might LP. Still debating. That'd be interesting. And meanwhile, Thomas is um, doing Being something Thomas. to that creature. <laughs> or back oh, back there. At the least. only. That and the ostriches in the beginning of the game, the only two native creatures you see of Reach at all. Oh, yeah, you'll ever see of Reach. Yeah. It's I almost kind of like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I feel like maybe they could have done a little more. If you're going to show like that, I almost kind of expected them to do more. Yeah, add a little bit more. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, did they ever uh, confirm they, that they were actually called ostriches or just... They just look like them. Just uh, they're just, they're ostrich-like bird beast things, so that's what you call them. They have a long neck, they have long legs and a round body. They look like ostriches. I oh, forgot what they're called. I remember reading it somewhere. Probably in the Reach manual I read it. <laughs> yeah. Back when games used to tell you that kind of stuff. Yes. Because they thought gamers would care. Well, that's how they were in the beginning. Like, when video games first started, if you wanted to get the story of a game and the characters and all that, you had to read the manual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wish they would still do that. Like, now I open up a new game, like, yeah, let's look at the manual. It's like it's this like a piece gray, of black and white, thin, thin little thing with no artwork, no yeah, no, no anything to, interesting to look at, man. What am I supposed to look at when I'm taking a dump? <laughs> But you're supposed to be looking at your iPod because that's where everything is now. It's all digital, yo. Uh, um, and I don't well, know I mean, why I, I'm on the roof. I do think it's cool that they're going green with that whole thing by like cutting down on paper. Because, yeah, I guess not many people do read manuals anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I got when I got Halo 4, it doesn't even have a manual. Oh, wow. It has I a 14 day up, trial. I didn't even have that. I had that in a separate little pouch. <laughs> uh, wow, well, I don't know. Uh, I, I just there is such a joy as a child opening it like a new Game Boy Advance game and just be like looking oh at the manual, manual before yeah. I play the game, just like reading everything I can, just because it looked cool and it was interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And it's it, it's kind of nostalgia. Whenever I'm like looking around my old cupboards and I find one of them, I just sit down and read like it. read through it again, just because <laughs> it's just that's a rush of uh, memories and I feel nostalgia like a kid and whatnot. Again. I don't know. Well, I, I mean, can... I can. It, it's pro. It's pro... Moving... What? Oh, we might have lost him. Oh god. Well, he'll come back. Yep. In the meantime, oh. we kill oh, more elites. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're back. He broke out for a second. Yeah. You're back though. Uh, no. oh, wait, 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 guys! Look, 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 look! I'm watching. What the heck? 
<laughs> oh, this is a mistake. You're like, oh, hey, no. Cody, you got to see this. And then by the time I got to it, it was gone. And you're like, don't worry, you'll see it in the park. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I forgot why I went away. Didn't, oh. that is, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the way to end an episode. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, thank bye. you very much. <laughs>